Hey, Donald Miller here. Um, this is gonna go out just to apprentices, okay? And it, it really, this is where you, it's either you're gonna have a great apprenticeship or it's just gonna become a job for you. Stop trying to lie to your mechanic. And what I mean by this, and this is, it happens all the time. If we have a guy employed for a year, we know what skill level he is at the beginning of the year, or at least when he starts or, you know, when he's working. And a year goes by, okay? We don't have to watch you that whole entire year. This trade, you're supposed to motivate yourself to learn, okay? And then ask questions, and you learn, ask questions, you learn. It's self-motivating, okay? We're not babysitters. People need to realize this. If you're in an apprenticeship and you're gonna go and you're gonna go get a job with a mechanic, he's not there to babysit you. So he's not spoon feeding this trade to you, okay? You have to take the initiative and learn, okay? And the ones that say they are, this is what I mean by lying. If you've worked for me for a year, okay, I'm expecting a certain level of maturity in your skill level. How you hold your tools, how you conduct yourself, how you show up on a job, how do you motivate yourself, how do you keep yourself motivated, how do you, would, show me the discipline, show me the tough times you've gotten through that shows me that you're learning, okay? Because that can't be fake. Okay, and that's what I mean by lying. These guys that come in here and they get a job in this trade and they get back on their heels, like they're not like it takes them 30 minutes to do an outlet, like that kind of like that kind of stuff. All right, so if you're in this trade and you're you're trying to become a mechanic, you have to discipline yourself. No one else is gonna do it for you. By all means, the other apprentices on the job site aren't gonna help you because they are gonna fly by you. You are going to be left in the back while the other mechanic, the other mechanics aren't going to even want to teach you anything because you're, you're, you're on your heels. You're not motivated. Okay. The mechanics are going to teach the motivated apprentices. Okay. Plain as day. And here's another little secret. Lazy apprentices like to go to the nicest mechanics. Okay. Usually the motivated apprentices like to go to the most difficult stuff to learn because they're trying to become a mechanic where the lazy apprentices are the ones that aren't learning and they're just riding on their heels and they take their time. Okay. They're the ones that try to go to the nicest mechanic. Okay. Cause they want to be buttered up. Okay. And you know, if this honesty hits you a little too hard, that's what I'm here for. Okay. If you're an apprentice, that's my job as a mechanic, is to show you how you're, 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 to show you what you're doing wrong, okay? And it should motivate you to change, to become a better person, all right? Um, I'm, I'm by myself here today because my other rewire is historic and it's running into problem after problem. So I put, everyone on the other rewire and I'm just going to do this one by myself. So I would go over it with you and I wanted, I, the, the moment I have a helper with me, I'll do a video on how to fish a wall and how it can only, it, you can fish a wall in under 20 seconds. Like I don't understand why people are having a problem with the fact that fishing is difficult. Fishing is only difficult if you don't know how to do it. Period. Okay, you fish a wall a thousand times. I guarantee you it's not gonna take you long to fish a wall unless you're not paying attention to yourself and just jamming it up there, all right? There's, there's methods to fishing to make fishing easier, okay? And then when you become good at it, there's no luck involved, absolutely none, all right? Until you get to there, I don't care what you believe. You can believe it's luck, you can believe this, you can believe that. Um, but don't bet me when I start fishing, okay? Because I, I, I make money. Um, 
That, that was it. I, I, I do these apprentices today. It's not the same as it was when I was learning this trade. Okay, and maybe it needs to get back to that because the apprentices today are almost deciding that they want to be poor. They're almost deciding that they would rather stay at the poverty level than to wake up and go get the real money that's on the streets. And the only you can't the, the money that's on the streets requires a certain amount of knowledge to get. You actually have to be intelligent in this trade. You can't fake it on the streets. The streets will destroy you. Either that or you're just gonna destroy your name and become a hack, and you will get known in the community as a hack. Alright? God bless. Enjoy your Wednesday.